the famous question should i buy the flash cards or should i make the flash cards guys this is shraddha from your favorite channel early learners and right brainers so just to tell you something about flash cards flash cards are of three types as you know one is picture flash card two is word flash card and three is map dot cards uh, coming to math dot cards and picture flash cards um, these two things are something i personally feel to start you must have something from market the reason i'll tell you for picture cards yes i agree that uh, you can print it on 300 gsm you can laminate this and that but guys a uh, flash card set is easily available in market for maybe 250 rupees 30 rupees uh, sorry 300 rupees 350 rupees maximum 400 rupees the quality and the texture of the flash cards i specifically say about hungry brain is very appealing and uh, it is also very easy like you just you just take 24 seconds to flash them they don't fall they don't have anti glare they don't shine like the lamination nothing so your job is what your job is to stimulate your mind stimulate the mind of your child so you know there is there is a myth that you have to show 1000 cards or 2000 cards at the start no when you are a, when you are a new mom or a new dad to ride a brain your first thing is to introduce flash cards is to provide the first stimulus to your baby's brain that okay there is something called as flash cards that activates your photographic memory when you see your child is quite happy you can always add more and more flash card sets and when you feel that okay the market is now not making or this category or that category then you introduce your own flash cards but when you are new to right brain you can at least spend 400 rupees even if you are the lower middle class if you can afford a phone if you can afford a um, internet if you can give your child one gift it's quite easy to buy a flash card okay but if still there is a problem there is someone your friend your relatives a guest who wants to gift your child something right tell them to gift you a flash card picture flash card very easy because you know i don't say don't print your own flash cards you should but when when your child is just habituated to flash cards like like anything like he is excited to see the flash cards he is interested he is enthusi- enthusiastic you have already completed a one month or two month you yourself are uh, yourself are assured that flash cards work then doing your own flash cards makes sense because if you as a mom don't have confidence on flash cards your child is not going to learn anything from it okay so first of all you have to be a confident mom so to have a confidence it is okay to take a professional help not a big deal that is my opinion okay don't take it personally second thing the dot cards see the dot cards that i have are from two companies one is my ganak and one is hungry brains the uh, the one that ganak has given is only 20 uh, one, one to 20 cards and the one that i have brought from hungry brains it is package of 1 to 100 but the difference between both of them is the size the one that i have brought from my gynec are quite small and the second that i have uh, got from hungry brains every page has equations written on it like one is a prime number uh, one plus one is two then um, this is a simple example then one uh, in equation what will happen if it is if one is divided by one or infinity all those small small um, examples are provided on every page so from 1 to 100 the size of uh, the dot cards is a4 and uh, they have created it quite big and uh, i'll show you once uh, in one of the videos but just to start with uh, the hungry brain dot cards are really nice because they also have bad, uh, equations written on it see i'm not saying that i have to show them show the equations to my child as flash cards but when he grows up like 6 7 even your child when they grow up like 6 7 uh, 
you can use them as a reading material like you can make them read uh, the equations you don't have to show them as flashcards that time so i'm just thinking like it is a investment for zero to seven years so it's okay if you save some money for maybe two three months you just save it and then you buy the dot cards from hungry brain this is my personal recommendation they have not paid me for it there are also few girls in my group they are also making dot cards and uh, selling them but honestly i don't recommend them at this moment because i myself don't know that uh, the moms who are just new to this concept how much should i invest in their material like i don't know i shouldn't say this because i am a new mom too i have also started my youtube and i have also started my uh, facebook now only when my child is small but i personally prefer something called as professional uh, and i like hungry brains because it is a big brand so they will take care while doing something because if one person goes against them then their entire reputation will go go bad but if a local person has just started it and even if you complain to thousand people nobody is going to trust uh, i mean nobody is going to pay attention so that is my personal take it is up to you what you want to do coming up to the words flashcards word flashcards you even if you go and buy from outside market it's not going to be worth it so never buy any word flashcards from outside always make flashcards that are word specific like or uh, you want to write mummy daddy papa or uh, the grandpa grandma if you want to write them and show so when you want to do a reading program with your child it is must that you draw your own words you can use watercolor you can take a sheet or the specifications i have told in my facebook group you just have to please once go there and read it so you take a big uh, card you draw suppose mummy suppose daddy and uh, draw the first letters you have to see that if it is a proper noun it should be capital if it is a noun it should be small and you have to make your own words and uh, you have to paint them or you have to draw them via a marker red marker so make make it sure make sure that the word cards are in red color and they are bold enough big enough so that your child will be able to properly see it so once your child gets little habituated you change the font and you change the size of the paper it is not age specific it is specific to how much time you have exposed your child to flash cards okay so if your child is reading a word card say for one month like a set of 50 word cards like he is learning 50 words uh, for one month you can reduce the size after uh, after you know you observe that your child is not looking at it so make it a little small so all those variations you can do as per your child but don't think that my child is four year old so i will show him the entire letter or uh, sorry entire uh, sentence no you have to go via the glen domain method that you have to break the words you have to show one word two word three word four word five word in a fast speed when i say one word two word i mean mummy daddy papa grandpa grandma like that okay so this is a very basic uh, video i'm going to i'm going to talk about flash cards uh, in later videos because flash cards is a huge topic of confusion more than <laughs> simplicity it is very simple but a uh, lot of miscommunication is going through everywhere every channel so my personal opinion flash cards when you want to buy word cards don't go and don't buy flash cards picture cards please buy flash cards dot cards please buy okay and um, all the best guys if you need any help support please you always have instagram facebook group and uh, youtube you can comment thanks a lot